Would you like to know a little hack to give you an extra element of control with the Sonos amp? Stay tuned and we'll get right into it. Hi everyone, it's Jonathan from Smart Home Sounds, a home audio visual retailer based in the UK. And today's video is gonna be just a quick overview on a new product that we think is worth telling you about, as it will prove extremely useful if you're installing any sort of wired audio like ceiling speakers, uh, passive bookshelf speakers, in-wall speakers, or outdoor speakers in your home. Now, if you are in the process of installing these types of speakers in your home, or you're planning this sort of project, do get in touch or check out some of our other YouTube content on this topic as we have got everything you need to get started. So let's not keep you waiting any longer. What is this product that I have right here? So these are the AudioFlow smart speaker switches and they're designed and manufactured in the UK. And the idea behind these is that if you're installing multiple zones of ceiling speakers in your home, let's say, so you might have a pair in your kitchen, another pair in your diner and another pair outside, and you're installing them all on one single zone amplifier, such as the Sonos amp or the Blue Sound Power Node, this switch will isolate the different pairs of speakers so that you can then turn individual pairs of speakers on or off. This means that you can have them playing all the same thing at the same time, or you can choose to turn one pair off, two or three zones off, depending on how many channels are on the switch. As you might be aware, when you do install all of your speakers on the same amp, if it's not a multi-channel amp, they will all play the same music at the same volume. So this little smart device will give you an added element of control at a fraction of the price of installing another amplifier. Where this really comes in handy in the real world is if you're installing a pair inside and a pair outside that are going on the same amplifier. Now it's likely you'll want to turn off the outdoor audio and then leave the indoor audio on sometimes or vice versa depending on where you and your guests are. Another example would be a bedroom and ensuite where you might not necessarily need to have the ability to play different music in the bedroom to the ensuite, but it might be useful to at least turn the bedroom off to the ensuite or vice versa. Now this is a great cost saving exercise for something like the Sonos system because in order to get fully independent zones like playing different music on the speakers at the same time or different volumes on different pairs, you would need to purchase multiple amps. But for those zones that you only need to be able to turn off or on, a switch will save you buying another amp for 599. And we love any solutions that can save our customers money as this might then free up budget to use towards better speakers and better sounding audio overall. So to give you an idea of how much these cost then, these little switches start at 109 for the two-way up to 149 for the four-way. And then two-way means you only need to switch on or off two zones, three-way for three zones, and then so on. Now, a great USP of these audio flow speaker switches is that unlike other switches where you actually have to go over to where you've installed the switch and then press a physical button like a light switch, for example, these switches can actually be controlled using the audio flow app or even voice using Amazon in addition to being able to be turned on or off using the switch itself by pressing these buttons. Now, because of this smart technology, I can visualize a lot of people who own a traditional switch considering upgrading to these over time because it is just so much more convenient to pull out your phone or use to play or pause the music rather than going over to the switch itself. So how does it all work then? So I think it's probably gonna be easiest if I show you. So I'll just head over to our lounge and show you now. Okay, so I've actually got a four-way switch uh, here and I'll demo how this will be set up and work with a pair of these uh, Sonos Faber bookshelf speakers that we've been demoing this week and a pair of Sonos in-ceiling speakers up in the ceiling. So if we take a closer look at the wiring, you'll see that there is an amp in input where you'll use speaker cable to wire your left and right terminals from the amp into the amp in, and then you'll wire your speakers into the relevant zone in the switch. So as we've got a four-way switch here, there's four zones named A to D, and then you want to remember which speakers that you've wired to each zone because you'll then rename them in the audio flow app so you know what you're controlling at one time. You'll also need to run mains power to the switch, of course. And then here is a port for if you want to use contact closure so that you can run a separate temporary switch, maybe like a built-in switch that looks a bit like a light switch, for example. Once you've done all that, you can then download the AudioFlow app from the Android or iOS store for free. The app will then prompt you to connect to a temporary network so it can discover your Wi-Fi. You'll then connect the switch to your Wi-Fi and put your Wi-Fi pass password in, and it's then got access to your network. 
You can then rename your zone. So we've got kitchen and bedroom here as an example, but it will of course be different for you. Now, if you wanna turn off a zone, you can simply tap on it and then tap on it again to turn it back on. You can leave both zones on so the music is playing on both or just have one zone playing and being instant, it's so much more user friendly than of course going over to the switch and turning it on or off. If you've got four zones here, you can simply use the tick boxes to select multiple at once. A bit like how the Sonos app works when you have multiple zones. And then here is where you can enable if you have an Echo device. Now this will redirect you to sign into your Amazon account where the app can then discover the switch as a device and understand the room names that you've assigned in the audio flow app you can then simply ask Alexa to turn on or off these rooms at any one time and then she'll do it instantly for you so overall i am really impressed with how easy to use and user friendly this switch is and i think this will partner extremely well with sonos and other smart systems like control 4 and lutron for example so just to quickly cover the positives and negatives of using an audio flow switch versus using a separate Sonos amp for each zone then. So the main big positive of the audio flow switch is cost saving. So if you've got a large project where you might be installing multiple pairs of speakers all around your house where the costs are quite quickly adding up, the switch will allow you to turn specific zones on or off where you don't need to play different music at the same time. That does, of course, bring me on to the negative of the switch is that you can only turn on or off different pairs of speakers. There's no volume control and there's no way of playing different music on different pairs at the same time. This is the advantage of using separate Sonos amps as you'll then get independent volume control and music selection between those zones. So that is pretty much all there is to it. It's a nice solution to a common problem, an affordable way of giving you more control over your different zones without having to purchase an additional amp. If you do have any questions about this at all, feel free to let us know in the comments below. And if you are planning a project like this, we'll be happy to have a chat with you as always. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.